What's going on everybody, Moose Juice here, and a lot of you have been asking me for class setups, especially for hardcore, so that's exactly what you guys are going to get today. So just a few days ago, I want to say it was two or three days before the Eclipse DLC came out, they went ahead and buffed most of the SMGs, actually most of the guns in general. One of those guns being the Weevil, where they removed speed reduction while firing, they increased the aiming down the sight speed, increased sprint recovery speed, and on top of that, increased the 5 hit kill range, which doesn't really matter for hardcore, but they did buff that, just an FYI. So, for my class setup on this Weevil, I'm running my ELO sight, I got quick draw, my long barrel, stock, also running ghost, scavenger, and gung ho, on top of that, got an EMP for that last slot to fill up. Now, running the EMP grenade and scavenger is just a godly, godly combo, especially if you're taking out score streaks. I'm not going to run through them all, but for example, one EMP will take out a Guardian, two for a Sentry Gun, four for a Cerberus, two for a Talon. On top of that, you can just throw random ones, hopefully kill RCXDs, darts. It's really, really awesome to use. So make sure when you're running Scavenger, you're always taking out the guys and immediately running to pick up those little backpacks filled with all those goodies you want. So getting into some gameplay, we're playing Hardcore Domination on Metro. Probably one of my least favorite maps, but with any SMG, you want to be sticking to the close range sections of the maps. Usually that means the outer two lanes of any map, and for any reason, if you need to go into that middle lane, make sure you're coming from the outer two lanes. There's always a passage somewhere in the middle leading to that middle lane, because you don't really want to be running from your spawn all the way over their spawn down the middle lane. That's mainly an assault rifle game, and you're probably going to lose with your SMG. Now, the funnest part with this gun is when you're using gung-ho and quick draw, I like to do a lot of sliding, a lot of thrust jumping, because you can pull up that gun so fast, it doesn't really matter if you're sliding or jumping. And when you're sliding and jumping around, you look like a beast, and people usually get scared of you. And then you get inside their head, and you keep on taking them out, rinse and repeat, game over. On top of that, make sure you're always, always reloading this gun. These bullets go down really, really quick. So if you find yourself a corner, find yourself some cover fire, Make sure you're reloading every chance you get, because the last thing you want to do is run out of bullets in a firefight. So, for me, with any gun I use, I rely heavily on aiming down the sights. I'm not a big hip fire guy, so the stock comes in really, really handy for me. That turning corners with the stock is just so much better, because 99% of the time, these corners have a barrel, or they have a box where guys are head glitching. So you can just easily strafe around the corner, aiming down the sights, take them out really really helps a lot so to show you just how awesome this class setup is for our score streaks we are running wraps gi unit and mothership i can't stress enough but make sure you're always reloading in this video you're going to see me reload every chance i get all right so we just hopped into round two wraps are already rolling on the ground gi unit is landing soon and we're just going to dominate c and b are already taken Look at that GI unit being a badass bitch just jumping through windows. He don't give a fuck. And they actually also buffed the wraps, and that's I started using those a lot more. So there are actually six drones that drop per spot. It used to be four, so you get a total of 12. Now you get a total of 18, and it definitely boosts up your kill. I'd say you get a solid three or four more kills per wraps now. Which honestly probably makes this the best score streak for the money at this point. 1,300 points is what the wraps take. But you'll get a solid 15 kills almost. And a little vision pulse never hurt anybody. By far my favorite specialist class to use. Never hurts shooting people through the wall like this. Usually when I'm going for my higher score streaks, I don't use anything besides this vision pulse. How can you not like looking through the walls? How can you not like knowing where the enemies are? Especially because the secondary specialist abilities charge up a lot faster than weapons do. Again, you won't see me looking down these train tracks. The only reason I have long barrel equipped is it mainly helps with medium range gun battles. So just like any Call of Duty map, we have the three lanes. You'll see me sticking to the outer two lanes, especially while I'm using an SMG. Unless I'm using an assault rifle, I don't really go down the middle too much. Because usually that middle lane is wide open. And... I'm bound to get picked off. Here we go. Get our GI unit. Wraps are currently dropping. 
Gonna give this a second. There's our mothership running. Wraps, GI unit, mothership. This thing is just deadly. 62 and 5 right now. 65 and 5. Wraps just got 3 and 1. GI unit on the ground. Wraps on the ground. Mothership in the air. Nowhere to go at all. And I actually just started using these score streaks just to give it a go. And it has been really, really fun, especially because you're getting them all so close together. But that's going to wrap up this gameplay. Try out that Weevil class. Honestly, for core mode, I wouldn't change much of this setup. I'd probably leave it exactly the same. But thanks for checking out this video. If you liked this video, if you thought it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. That's always appreciated. Make sure you actually try out this class. It is deadly. Like I said, they recently buffed it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos, especially the class setups for hardcore game modes. On top of that, we got all these Mothership Killstreak videos. Pretty much got a Mothership on every map, including the new DLC, with pretty much every gun in the game. So again, make sure you like this video. Comment below with what class setups you guys want to see in the future. And as always, thanks for watching.